Good morning. I finally made it to Pristina in Kosovo after a six hour journey yesterday. I was flying from uh, London Luton to Pristina and we had a uh, three hour wait sitting on the plane on the runway thanks to the German airspace and their restrictions. So thank you Germany for wasting six hours of my life. I'm taking that as including the flight time to get here. <laughs> but I'm finally here and I'm happy. And the first thing I want to uh, show you in this fascinating country and the capital is this unfinished Serbian cathedral. Look at that. So this was uh, on the orders of Slaban Milosevic during the 90s. And uh, it started in 1992, but then was unfinished and it came to halt the project in 1999. But still, that is impressive. And it was meant to be the largest cathedral in Kosovo. Kosovo was once ruled by the Ottomans and you can still see today mosques which were built during that time. This is what's unique about the city. You can see things from that era, you can see new buildings from this era, from 2007, here we go. We've got the Mother Teresa Cathedral over there. And from a different era, we've got the Communist building, this really ugly library. To me, this has to be one of the ugliest communist buildings I've seen in my life. So I'm not just walking down the main pedestrian street, but I've come across the famous warlord called Sken de Beg. And here he is, on that horse. According to Albanian history, this war commander rebelled against the Ottoman Empire in Kosovo. Wow, nice. So just behind me, you'll see the Kosovo government building with the Kosovo flags. That's the government building. And there you can see the flags, which have six stars on. And those six stars are to represent the six ethnic groups in Kosovo. And funny enough, on the building, you can also see UCK, which is the uh, Albanian Liberation Army. So, you know, Pristina is dominated by Albanians. So now I want to go and find another place within Kosovo, which is just where I can spend my Serbian dinar, apparently, which they accept, not just the Euro, which they use here, as well as Montenegro. Right, let's carry on. So what's my opinion of Kosovo so far? Well, you can definitely see them moving towards America. Why? Because you're seeing street names such as George Bush and the street which I'm on now, Clinton Boulevard. Which even has a statue of Bill Clinton himself right behind me here. And why do they have that statue? Well, when NATO were bombing Kosovo, Bill Clinton was the US president at that time. So when I was in Serbia, they 
had outside the government building. Serbia is Kosovo. Serbia without Kosovo is like a human without a heart. I'm now here at this monument just outside Pristina, which is to um, commemorate the people who fought in the Battle of Kosovo, the Serbs. And you can see actually written in Serbian there is if you're born in Serbia or if you have Serbian blood, you should fight in Kosovo. If you don't, then in Serbia, you are not respected. Wow, nice building. So a hundred steps later, I'm up this uh, monument. I said building earlier. I just had to do it quickly because the uh, security guy said, oh, you can film, but you have to be quick outside it. But upstairs here, we've got great views and we've got plenty of time to film here. <laughs> so let me just show you Pristina from here. Wow. It's all the way over there, to be honest. You can't really see much. But what we do have here is, I understand a bit of Serbian, is what it says here, the plan of the Kosovo battle in the 15th of June, 1389. And it's all written in Serbian here, just to commemorate those guys who fought against the Ottomans in that war. Wow, a nice day. Ten kilometers from Pristina is the town of Kracinica. And 85% of this population consists of Serbs. And I already feel like I am back in Serbia with the Cyrillic signs around me. Dobro nam došli. And over here, there's a famous statue. I can cross the road one second, it's pretty busy. Wow. Bit too busy. Don't want to get one over. Okay, I'm going to do it. Over here, we've got a statue of Milos of Village. And a sign that says, Yalu blue Grashanitsu. And at the back here we've got the Serbian flag. Nice. I have read in this town that you can actually use your Serbian dinar. So I bought some spare money from Serbia with me and I want to see if I can find a place that takes it. The one place that stands out in the town of Gracanica is the Gracanica Monastery. And here it is. Let's go and have a look inside. And here it is. But we cannot film inside according to that. Beautiful. This is nice. What I do know though, was that this was built in 1321. And it was built by the Serbian King, Stefan Milutin. Wow, it just feels like Serbia here, seriously. It's uh, only 10 kilometers away from Pristina, as I said earlier. And I went to the bank down the road, and the bank down the road only gives uh, dinner, it does not give you euros. And uh, after that, I went to this one um, pub, well, bar, where it was just all Serbian speaking, and I uh, had some great beers there. I was able to spend my uh, dinar from uh, Serbia. It's really unique here, it really is. The contrast, I mean, the difference. I don't know what it's like in uh, 
for example Israel and Palestinian lands but here is Serbia 100% So it's the end of the day here, but before I go to the pub, I thought the best way to finish off this video is in front of the Kosovo football stadium, where England, last time they were here, they won 4-0. So what are my impressions of Kosovo? Well, Pristina, it feels like a small version of Tirana. I've been to Tirana and you can actually watch the video on my channel and compare the two. Whereas the other place, the other town sorry, you went to, Gracanica, there was like a small version of uh, Belgrade. Just uh, everything in Serbian. Serbian signs, Serbian money you could take out from the bank, Serbian language. It just felt like in a different country. But if you ask me, Kosovo, should it be independent or should it be Serbia? Well. I don't like politics, I don't like getting involved in politics, but I do know that international law does state under the UN Resolution 1244 that Kosovo is a province of Serbia, and I will leave it at that. So I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and like, and there'll be some more videos coming soon. Bye for now.